All right, welcome to season two of Alberta Impact. I'm your host, Bryce Lambert. It's September, which means summer is almost over and it's back to the grind for everyone. But what does our economy look like in the midst of COVID? Joining me today to discuss about Alberta's economic future is Mary Lee Pryor, President of Economic Developers Alberta, which has been one of the leading economic development networks in our province for almost 50 years. Mary Lee, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Bryce. Absolutely. So give me a little bit of a picture of what the Economic Developers of Alberta is all about. Well, as you said, the Economic Developers of Alberta has been around for around 50 years. Um, three of our major, I guess, missions are uh, one, to promote economic development in the province of Alberta. Two is to support our economic development members, so throughout their careers and assist them in their roles. And the third one is, is to ensure that our communities within Alberta are sustainable um, and can attract uh, different types of economic development. Mm -hmm. So what does economic development really look like, you know, especially in the midst of COVID? How does that kind of look like for Alberta now? Uh, COVID has, has totally changed the way economic <laughs> development looks for particularly our practitioners, I think. Um, I think for everybody in the province, it's been a bit of a challenge. Uh, you know, we've had to work with our businesses and find different ways to promote them. And the hardest part, I think, during COVID was when the businesses had to shut their doors. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, for a small community, um, I'm a rural economic development officer. Uh, we had to encourage our businesses to go online, use mm -hmm. uh, different programs like Shopify and see if they could get their products out to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And being uh, the mayor of a small community, you have a very unique perspective on, uh, on rural. So can you kind of give us some of the challenges that rural, for economic development, that rural communities go through uh, just in general? I think uh, as an economic development practitioner in rural Alberta, we have a little different portfolio um, versus our counterparts in the cities. Uh, I think in the cities, you know, there's uh, streams. You could be an industrial practitioner, uh, retail practitioner, residential. Um, they really have a streamlined portfolio. Mm. When you get out to rural Alberta, um, we're the jack of all trades. Uh, because most rural municipalities, number one, a lot don't have an economic development practitioner. And if they do, um, you tend to wear the economic development hat as well as the tourism hat, the communications hat, and anything else that might need to be taken care of. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And so um, going back to EDA, you guys provide a lot of different programs. You do mentorship programs now. You have a lot of development, like uh, uh, practicing development uh, programs to help people develop where they want to go in economic development. Can you talk to you a little bit of that stuff and what you guys offer to your members? So the last little while, we have offered uh, resiliency training. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, till the end of June, we had a weekly session every Wednesday for our members, and anybody could t tune in to them. Um, they were free. Uh, you just go to the EDA website and you could sign up. We took a little break over the summer, but we will be offering uh, similar programs starting in the fall, so watch for that. Go to the EDA website. Um, you are right, we did start uh, this year, we've just started a new mentorship program. So what we've done is for EDOs in the province that might be new to the role and still trying to figure out some things and, and want a little assistance, we have given them the opportunity to partner with senior economic developers um, that want to mentor them. So we've tried to pair people up. So we have over a dozen right now um, paired up and working together to help them along in their roles. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, now you guys have a conference coming up here uh, in November as well. Uh, what can people expect from that conference and, and, uh, and why should people be attending? I think people should be attending because we are going to knock it out of the park, so to speak. Uh, Experience EDA 2020 is November 25th and 26th. And uh, we aren't going to just do Zoom. We're going to do some interesting uh, and different 
unique things uh, for our conference. So if you haven't signed up for the EDA conference, I'd encourage you again to go to our EDA website and sign up for Experience EDA 2020. Awesome. I took a look at your guys' lineup. You're covering a wide variety of topics, everything from like broad, broadband, uh, you know, tourism, I, again, basically everything you've touched base on, on, on what you need to be prepared for both in a rural and if you're in an urban or a large city setting as well. So that's really exciting. So there's going to be a lot of really good value coming out of this conference. Uh, so we're really excited to be a part of that as well and, uh, and help you guys spread some of that message. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for coming in and joining us today and talking to us about this and giving us some insights. Uh, I think it's going to be really unique to see what's going to happen here. Uh, you know, as COVID starts to lift, the economy starts to open and, um, and what people, what other opportunities that are out there for individuals that are starting businesses. I know you and I had a conversation actually uh, just off camera in regards to new shops starting to open up in smaller communities as well to kind of adapt to the changing environment of the economy. And, and that's going to be a really unique thing to see here uh, coming up into the, uh, the end of 2020 and uh, hopefully the fresh and optimistic outlook of 2021. <laughs> yes, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Thank yes. you so much again for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Good stuff. So there you have it. Uh, that's the Economic Developers of Alberta. Go and check out their website. They are having a conference here coming up in November. You don't want to miss out on. There's a lot of opportunity to learn and grow. If you're looking to develop your skills in economic development for here in Alberta, as it's something that we're going to be uh, under the gun to, uh, to get developed and happening here uh, to help our province grow again economically. So uh, to find out more information, uh, please go check out the EDA website. And uh, don't forget to go out and check out uh, albertaimpact.ca. Uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, check out our, and subscribe on our uh, socials as well.